keto pumpkin cold brew. It is keto friendly, sugar free, and it tastes like pumpkin. And it's not $8, it's delicious. It's finished. Hey guys, Busy Mommy here, and today we're gonna do a keto pumpkin cold brew. I'm obsessed with it, I don't know if you are. Sometimes it's worth the sugar and the feeling sick that I will get <laughs> after drinking it, but also I don't wanna spend $8, so I thought, why not make it myself? So here is how you make your own. It is easier than you think. You're going to get yourself a cup with ice. Step one, very easy. Step two, pour yourself some cold brew. Now we're gonna take a cup and we're gonna put our half, a tablespoon of pumpkin puree. There it is, pumpkin puree. Obviously that's where we're gonna get more of the um, calories and such from it. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of almond milk. Let me get it. That's half. That's half, but whatever. No, a quarter cup of almond milk. And then you're gonna add a splash of vanilla. Now this is my Mexican vanilla and I love it. I would say about half a teaspoon, but if you put a little more in, it's fine. And then, y'all know I use this a lot. This is my sugar-free vanilla syrup. And so I'm gonna do two pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup from Starbucks. That's what gives it the sweetness. And then if you want a sweeter coffee, you can add it to your actual coffee as well. I'm not gonna do that because I already have the sweetness here, but, and I don't really like too sweet, so I'm totally okay with that. And then I'm gonna add a dash of what makes it pumpkin pie, the pumpkin pie spice, which is amazing. Can you blend this in a blender? Yes. Will it be as frothy? No. However, this little guy is amazing. He's only $15. And honestly, he's rechargeable, which is great. And this actually pops off so you can put it in the dishwasher, which is really nice. Um, and it's strong, works for hot or iced when you're frothing milk. It's amazing. So I think you should get that if you want. And I'll put the link below if you want to try it. If not, feel free to use a blender. Now I know at Starbucks they use a blender, right? And the thing is, is their blenders are very, very powerful, so they do whip up the cream a little bit better, but you feel free to use yours. Now, I'm gonna add a splash of sugar-free French vanilla cream. Um, you can add heavy cream if you want. That was about a teaspoon of heavy cream just because it's gonna help with the frothiness, but that's it, now we're just gonna blend. And, you know, I feel like I always forget to tell y'all, but while you're waiting for this to froth up, I think you should like, subscribe, and comment because let's be real. It's pumpkin season, it's the fall, and I'm gonna start making more pumpkin recipes. So do you see this froth? I don't know if you see it, but I think you need to understand the level of joy that this brings me. Um, this frother is amazing. I use it for breakfast, um, like for my coffees in the morning, and then you can use it also for anything really, like smoothies, protein shakes, or whatever. But all right, so I think that's about frothed enough. And that's it, like that is literally all you have to do. Well, okay, you gotta pour it into your, that is so satisfying. I just, watching it happen. <laughs> my daughter keeps clapping, she's so excited because it looks so cool. Um, and you can top it with a little bit more pumpkin pie, but guys, I think this one might be better than the regular one. Look, it is keto friendly, sugar-free, it's delicious. And it tastes like pumpkin, and it's not $8. So you should give it a shot. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if you tried it. I am going to, I promise this year that I will, tr I'm not gonna say try because Yoda says do or do not, there is no try. I am going to film one or two of the holiday coffees this year and try to ketify them, or at least do a copycat version and then ketify them. So. Let me know which ones you want me to try. I've never had the peppermint mocha, people love that. My favorite is the caramel brulee, which I think I could do. So let me know. I look forward to seeing all of you. And as always, thank you for joining me. Bye guys.